Hey folks, out here again, taking a break from some farm work. Um, giving you all your money's worth, all right? I didn't forget about you out there. Uh, thank you to those of you who have been supportive and sending positive comments and all that. I appreciate it. God bless you all. Hope you all are doing good. Street Glide 88, uh, Beretta 9 Mill USA. Check out HVAC Bill. Um, <clears throat> 10th Amendment Center also. Chihuahua also hope you guys are doing good hey the most important step of the draw is the moment we clear our holster so let's practice that a little bit what I got is the model 66 combat magnum you know I've been doing a lot of videos on this gun k-frame is awesome if you are thinking about getting a revolver <clears throat> this would be a really really badass choice um, I am an L-frame guy my go-to is the 686 plus if I can only choose one handgun, that would be it. That extra round does mean something to me. Um, but if you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit lighter and a little bit more concealable, the Combat Magnum is a high recommendation of mine. Uh, the Model 19, the Model 66. A lot of people talk smack on these new Smith & Wessons <clears throat> with, with the way that they're built versus a Dash 1 or Dash 2, Dash 3. I actually think that the Dash 8 is... Uh, better suited for magnum use okay this gun is made for combat it's all business six rounds two-piece barrel beefed up force and comb beefed up cylinder lock up um i just i really like it it is a fighting handgun this is a fighting handgun so let's train with it um the most important step to the draw is the moment you clear your holster and this is what i teach in my classes whether it's from concealment or open carry, okay? You start here, all right? This is a defensive position, but I can still fight from here. Take that step, sweep, and grab a handful of gun, support hands on your chest, and then we clear the holster, then we center, and then push the weapon system out, <clears throat> okay? I want my students to move their feet <clears throat> because I've never been in a fight where I stayed still, so we wanna move our feet. And we talk about this over and over again in my videos, how, you know, whether it's a rifle company maneuvering, a fist fight, a gun fight, we incorporate movement for many reasons. All right, so from right here, take a step, sweep, clear, boom. This is the moment I can begin to fight with my handgun. This is what would be called firing from a retention position, a high retention, and then we push the gun out and focus on our front sight. But sometimes, and more often, and, and statistically in fights that involve handguns, it's going to be very close up. 21 yards, excuse me, yes, seven yards, 21 feet, is the mean average distance for a lethal encounter, all right? But more often it's like 21 inches. So firing from a retention position or point shooting is something we need to practice. So what I'm gonna do here is from three yards, uh, practice the point shoot. Um, from the draw, all right, very close up to my target. I've already got one, two, three. I got three holes on this piece of paper, so it should be easy to tell where I'm shooting from. We don't use our sights here. We don't use our sights. We are looking at our threat, and we are simply engaging with the, with the trigger as quickly as we can from right here. Okay, so I'm gonna fire two here at a hammer pair from concealment as quickly as I can. This is the moment we can begin to fight. Okay, man alive, when you fire from right here, you feel the blast of those rounds coming out. All right, it almost feels like fireworks are hitting you. Okay, hit that in the pelvic. All right, but we gotta be quick. We gotta get this hand out of the way. Because if we start to fire and our hand's still out here, then guess what? You're getting a tetanus shot, right? So uh, let's try that again, hammer pair. And we're, we're essentially shooting one-handed as well. Very close up. Here we go. Okay, very, very fast. Very, very fast. All right. Okay, ladies, don't get too excited when you see my stomach muscles, all right? Don't think about that. Just focus on the techniques here. Here we go. Last one and a speed reload. Go. Oh, I missed that one. That was sloppy. 
Okay. Well, I missed it, but I probably would have hit the sucker in the leg. We got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I had one that, that went low. Um, but distance is your friend, all right? If I'm that close to my threat, I'm going to be engaging and separating myself. Boom, boom, boom. And then guess what? Once I come up here, boom, 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 okay? So the last drill we'll do, we'll incorporate those three stages of movement. Pop, 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 okay? As fast as we can, firing those hammer pairs from a retention, high retention, and pushing it out. Okay, the last two will be headshots. Here we go. Oh, went around on it. Okay, I kind of cheated there. I got ahead of myself. I started to push the gun out before I had fired from here, so I brought it back to fire those. And I guess I hit it. It's a malfunction with the revolver. It happens. That was a failure to fire. Failure to fire. So I went around on the cylinder again, and then I found it. In a fight, you might just go to a reload. Okay, but realistically, immediate action for a failure to fire is squeeze the trigger again. All right, give me a second. I want to do that one more time. All right, folks, out of time there. Don't have time. Hope you guys have a good one. Be safe.